According to Markets and Markets, Cognitive Assessment and Training Market, a category which includes brain training software, was worth a little bit less than $2 billion in 2016 and is expected to reach $8 billion in 2021. One 200 years ago, people were happy to reach old age. That meant they survived all those years. But in 2017, being old is nothing to brag about. People are afraid of aging. With aging, potentially comes illnesses that could limit your ability to reason, limit not only your body, but also your cognitive function. And when market became aware of this first world fear, brain training applications and programs started to pop out like mushrooms. These companies sell products that, they claim, improve various cognitive function, halting the development of some mental disorders with scary names like attention deficit, hyperactivity, learning disorders, Alzheimer. So question, do brain training improve your cognitive function? Well, yes, but I'll explain this with an example. I am Italian, and as every Italian, I am good at betraying allied countries at making pasta. But let's say I was half French and I want to learn to make it, I'd start to make pasta every day. What will happen? The first day my pasta will be unedible, extremely bad, but after 30 days of tries and tries I become better and better until day 30 my pasta is good. Now let's say that at day 31 someone asks me to cook spaghetti. I won't take 30 days to learn because I already know how to cook pasta. Spaghetti are similar, so after 2-3 tries at most I'll be able to cook spaghetti too. The same principle goes with brain training games. I do this brain training every day for a month. At day 30 I will be very good at this game. But this is it. It won't solve my mental disorder. I'll be extremely good at this game and at similar games. If I play Assassin's Creed every day for a month, this will make me very good at Assassin's Creed games and similar ones. But I won't be a parkour master. Brain training activities that actually work do exist but are either extremely rare, hard to research, or boring, so hard to sell on the market. Let's make some examples. Many are the tests made on children with ADHD. Between the most famous ones, the one of Karolinska Institute of Stockholm, which founded COGMED. In a research they made on 20 children with ADHD, they claimed that 60% of them, after 5 weeks of treatment, ceased to meet the criteria for ADHD. People who undergo tests like these, however, must meet specific criteria, so these tests are not guaranteed to work on anyone with a similar disorder. This is why similar tests are very controversial and claimed by other psychologists to be ineffective on a larger scale. Another example of working brain training is the Cogito study directed by Florian Schmeidek. The target of the test, which went on for 100 days, was to improve fluid memory on a number of young and old people. The result was an effective increase of cognitive function, however, it was more effective on young people than old people, while the market, of course, aims to sell these products to old people. Lastly, the one test that revealed to be successful on a large scale was one to improve road safety. After undergoing a period of brain training concerning peripheral vision, people showed to be more aware on the road. As I was saying in my past example, it is very hard to make a brain training program work on a person outside the software in real life. And even harder is to make it work on a large scale, a brain training program that works for everyone. To slow down the process is the fact that programs like these that do work are hard to sell. So it is possible that in future brain training will work for anyone, but until then I will go running. That not only invigorates my body, making me more attractive, but also has a number of effects on my cognitive function. For example, it improves my memory, which I lack of. But before going running, please subscribe to my channel, maybe share my video and comment down below your thoughts on brain training applications and softwares.